Hey everyone, I'm really excited about tonight's newer distributor Zoom. It's been a while since we have done this. It's gonna look a little bit different tonight because normally we do this for people in their first couple weeks. We might actually have people on here tonight that have been in even a couple of months. So it'll be a good refresher for those that have been in a little bit longer. If you're brand new, some of the information might be a few steps ahead of where you actually are, but that's okay. Just soak up as much as you can, take notes if you need to, and then you can go back and ask your sponsor or message me later if you need further clarification on anything. Um, I'm not gonna go over anything that's in our initial training videos, so I'm gonna do this as if you've all already watched them, okay? So hopefully you have. Um, I promise to keep it short and sweet. It might be kind of all over the place. I just wanna make sure you guys get the right information to kind of get your business off on the right start, especially this month, because December is a very important month in our business, but it's also a very busy month for most people. So I'm just gonna give you the tools that you need to make your business successful through this month to lead you into some of the busiest months that we ever have which is usually half the way through January through all the way through the spring as people have their New Year's resolutions and are getting ready for summer. So I just wanna set you up for success with that. For those of you that don't know, my name is Alyssa Bowman. If you are watching this, that means you are on my team or, team or in my downline, you signed up with someone, you signed up either with me or with someone on my team. I am your presidential upline. I've been doing this for a little over seven years now. Um, I'm 30 now, but I joined when I was actually 22. Um, you know, I'm going to have a story like a lot of you. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I hadn't tried any of the products. I did not have a crazy social media following. I didn't have a lot of money, didn't have a lot of time. Okay. Typical story of most of you guys. So just know that I've been there and my life might look different now but I had to run this business on a very busy schedule with a very shy personality, um, with a very limited social media following back in the day, okay? Um, so when I started, I honestly just dove right in. And one of the things that I love that my friend Lindsay always says it, when she joined was, this business wasn't gonna work because she didn't work, okay? If it didn't work, it wasn't gonna be because she didn't work at it. So I'd love for you guys to jump in with that same attitude of, you're already here, you already signed up, you already spent the 20 bucks or the 99 or the 49 or however much it was and you signed up, you're already here. You already have an account, you already have discounted pricing for a year. You will always wonder if you don't actually give it a real shot. I don't mean you put up two Facebook posts and nobody comments and so you're done. I mean giving it a real shot that this is a business and it will take time. You can do it on a very limited schedule, but it will take consistency and it will take time just like any sport, any career, any relationship. It's going to take that consistency and you continuing to show up because your goals are important to you. So um, the, the one other thing I want to touch on, and I'm not going to go through my whole story because there's seven years of it and this business has been with me through a lot. Um, but I want you to know that this, this job, like it works and making money on social media doesn't have to be your dream. You don't have to want to do this full time to be successful at this. That was not my goal. That was not my dream. I always wanted to own a business. I wanted to have, you know, a normal business with a boutique and have a storefront and all of that. And this business allowed me to do that. I was a boutique owner for three years because of the income I made in It Works. And then I looked up one day and thought, I can make more money from my phone at home than I'm making paying all this rent, paying for employees, paying for inventory and all of that. So that was a decision I made to give that up so that I could do this full time and just have total freedom working from wherever. But I want you to hear that and soak that in that this doesn't have to be your dream job, but this income in this job can allow you to follow any other dream that you have. Like maybe you hate your job and you would love to, I don't know, stay home with your kids or be a photographer or start a boutique or whatever it is, you know, even for us, I retired, but my husband's dream was to have his own chiropractic office. And so we were able to put him through school and all of that. And then when he graduated, he still wanted to work. And so we were able to pay for him to chase his dreams. So this business can be an avenue to other dreams. I have a lot of people that tell me, but I don't, 
I love my job. I don't want to quit my job. I don't want to do that full time that, you know, I want to do this. I want to do that. That's totally fine. Just know there's nothing wrong with having options or having a plan B, especially in this day and age. Like, I mean, did you guys see the, all the layoffs that are happening in the, the car industry right now? Like you just don't know what's going to happen. So not having a plan B is way scarier than putting yourself out there and just going for it and having that plan B. So um, the way people make money in 2019 is different, okay? If you hear from anyone that it's weird that you're making money on social media, it's weird that you're posting all the time, it's not weird anymore. It's weird if you don't have another source of income. Think about Google, think about Facebook, think about Etsy, think about all of these businesses that are making up a huge amount of retail business. You know, even huge corporations are finding ways to send people home so that they don't have to pay as much overhead, that they don't have to pay as much rent, they don't have to pay um, the same salary. A lot of companies are going to commission-based um, salaries. So having this business isn't weird, I just want to clarify that if you guys feel weird about doing this business, it's not weird anymore. In 2018, 2019, this is a very normal stream of income and it's just getting bigger and better. And you just happen to sign with one of the best companies to ever exist ever. And I know there's some people on here that would agree with me, but we are a solid company. We have solid products. We have solid leadership. I've watched companies come and go in the last seven years and I've watched our company stay consistent. I've watched people stay loyal. I've watched our company only get better. And that's what you want. If you're gonna start talking about this and promoting this company, you wanna know that it's a solid company and it's not going anywhere. And we're not going anywhere. Okay, so um, that's enough about all that. So the way that I want you guys as new distributors to start thinking about this business, instead of thinking, I don't want to bug my friends and family. I don't want to sell things. I don't want to be pushy. I don't want people to be annoyed on my newsfeed. I don't, I don't know how to follow up. I don't know all of the sales technique, techniques, all of that. I want you to think of yourself as a social media influencer instead. Okay, don't think of yourself as being in sales or being in network marketing or MLM or whatever. You are a social media influencer. Your social media accounts are now influencing the way that people think, the way that they buy, the way that they live, the way that they're encouraged. And so it's more than you just talking about the products and talking about the business. It's everything else that's wrapped up in your life too, okay? So think about your now your Instagram or your Facebook or your Snapchat or whatever social media platforms you're on. Um, that is going to be like your, your life magazine now or your scrapbook. What if you're more artsy, think of it as your scrapbook or your um, magazine or your TV channel or whatever. Okay. Um, you are more than just the network distributor. Okay. It works as something you do. It's not who you are. So we're not going to just totally fill up our pages with everything black and green. Please don't do that. People need to see that you are a real person before they will buy your real products. They're gonna buy you before they buy anything that you're selling. So make sure that you don't just become someone totally different when you join this business, okay? You're gonna include the products and include the business into the life that you already have, okay? I know a lot of you will say, well, I didn't post that much before. I didn't post that much before. <laughs> like, I didn't post a couple times a day before joining this business, but, it's something that I learned and it, I knew that with my shy personality and with my busy schedule, I needed to find a way to make social media work. So if that's you, if you don't post all the time, that's okay. You can ease into it, but just know that social media is now, it's going to be your storefront. So it's how you show people you're open for business. It's how people know that you're serious about this. It shows them that you're excited. It shows that you're using the products. If Assuming you're not talking to every single person on your friends list every single day and everyone you're not texting every single person in your phone book every day Social media is the way that you're showing those people That you have goals and dreams for the business and that you're still doing it Okay, so much of this business is going to come with consistency on social media So make sure you're keeping it fun whenever you can take your own photos make your own captions get creative with it It doesn't have to be perfect again a lot of it's just trial and error there are a million times I throw up a post and I get absolutely nothing from it. And all of the other people on this page will tell you the same thing. It's not like every time I post or come up with a great caption or spend 15 minutes taking the perfect picture that I sign people from it. 
the reason that I continue to post and continue to go live or post videos or post to my story is because I know that with time it works. So I just want y'all to know that people are watching. They might not always be commenting. They might not always be liking. They might not always be responding to your messages. They are watching. And it's with the time and with the consistency that people are going to sign up. It's not going to become, it's, they're not going to come with just perfection. So get the perfection part out of your brain. There's never going to be a perfect post or a perfect time or a perfect message. It's all just consistency and, and trying. And y'all, some of my first Facebook posts, when they show up in my memories, they're so bad. And some of my messages that people didn't respond to, I'm like, girl, I wouldn't have responded to that either. That was like 12 pages long. Like you probably gave up after the first sentence. But I still was sharing my excitement and I was pumped about it. And I didn't care that, you know, not everyone was jumping in right off the bat. I, I didn't care because I knew behind those people, there was someone else that needed what we have. And so I just had that mentality of like, there's clearly people buying these products every single day. There are people joining as distributors every single day. I know they're out there. So it didn't bother me when people weren't interested or weren't commenting on my stuff because I knew that, that they were coming. So again, consistency, not perfection. If you haven't started posting yet, you've got to start posting. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more why December is so important, but start posting, ask your sponsor for help, follow some of the other leaders that you will see uh, posting in the success squad page you know, follow their page. You don't even have to send them a friend request. You can just click the follow button. You can uh, trust me. And I'm going to speak for on the behalf of anyone that's been in this business for even a few months. You can take our stuff and tweak it and make it your own. And we are not offended. You don't have to ask. You don't have to message me and ask if you can use my whatever post because chances are I took it from someone else <laughs> and I tweaked it to make my own anyways. So Use those as a resource. We know that you're busy. I know what it was like when I had multiple jobs when I started this business. And the more efficient I could run my business, the better. The less time I could spend coming up with a caption, the better. Because then I got to spend more time messaging or following up. So when you can, be original. Use your own content. But it's better to post and be consistent than not be able to have time to come up with something original. So just going a week without posting anything at all. So, you know, when you've got, this is kind of going off on a tangent, but when you have time on like a Sunday night, like tonight, go through some of the pages of people or get on, when you get on like the Sunday and Monday night calls, go follow some of the leaders that are being in, interviewed and then spend like 20 minutes on a Sunday night, just copying and pasting their posts to your, to your notes on your phone and then that week when you need to, you have got a, like a five minute bathroom break or a 20 minute lunch break, go to the notes in your phone, find one of those captions, paste it to your Facebook, tweak, make it your own. Like don't just post it verbatim, but change some of the wording, change the emojis and add your own photo or selfie. And it, you know, that should take like two minutes. But again, it's that consistency that matters. So don't spend all day trying to figure out what to post. Okay, use what's out there. And as you learn the wording and as you get more familiar with the products and as you more, try more things, you will be able to come up with more of your own original content. Okay. But just do what you have to in the beginning to get started and to be consistent. Um, okay. I think that's it about social media. I could go on and on, but there's so many things on the success squad page. You guys use that page. There's a magnifying glass on the right hand side. If you're someone that loves information, Seriously, you can search all sorts of things there, like post to post, which I'm going to talk about in a second, social media, messaging tips, uh, products, you can search cleanse, you can search, if there's ever something that comes up and you're not sure what it means, or you need help with it, or you want to get better at something, use that page as a resource, use your sponsor as a resource, stay plugged in. Um, you will hear us say that a lot about being plugged in. Um, and all that means is being connected, being on the team page, not going MIA for weeks at a time, getting on conference calls, um, just letting people know that you're excited and involved. And also knowing that when you're brand new, we all go through the same things. Like step one, oh my goodness, what did I just sign up for? Like, I'm going to be awful at this or nobody wants it or what the heck was I thinking? Okay. We all go through that moment of like, 
I'm just not sure that I made the right decision, okay? All normal, okay? And then, and then you might have a good streak where a few friends and family members jump in and you're like, okay, I'm gonna make a million dollars, this is so easy, okay? Not everyone has that step, but a lot of people that have a supportive inner circle, they'll go through that step. And then you'll hit a step where, okay, now what? I've talked to all the people that I know really well, like there's no way I'm gonna make any more money or have any more success. Okay, we all go through that too. We all go through the roadblocks of people not responding to our posts or maybe we're not getting good interaction on our messages, okay? Part of being plugged in, the importance of being plugged in is so that you remember that those things are very normal. Because as soon as you isolate yourself and you think, I'm not good at this or you know, I'm, I'm never gonna be that successful. As soon as you start having those thoughts and you disconnect and you get, you stop talking to your sponsor, that's when you, your brain starts to believe that you really are alone, that you can't do this, that you'll never be successful at it. But when you're plugged in, you realize and you remember all of those things are normal. We've all been there and you'll learn how to overcome them. But, you know, it's just like sports or school or whatever. You always have someone that's been there that's going to help you through it. So you don't just become a pro professional athlete without having coaches for like decades. Okay. This is the same way you, you might have multiple coaches or multiple leaders to look up to, but it's important to stay close to that fire and to stay connected to people that are where you are, where you want to be. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my, over my words tonight, but you guys get it. Um, okay. So next thing I want to talk about again, it's not a normal new distributor training, but we just have a lot of stuff going on this month. So host to post. You're probably going to see this quite a bit on the Success Squad page or from your sponsor. It's not something that you need to be overwhelmed by, but it's a great resource, especially early on, to start building your friends list, to build your potentials list, and even get some of your first few customers. So all host to post is, is asking someone to post for you on their social media accounts, on Facebook or Instagram. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. Well, and you guys can look at the team page. We have a really awesome incentive this month for you to get people to host a post for you. But let's say someone says, sure, I'll do that for you. You're gonna say, awesome. All I need you to do is copy and paste this post to your wall. If anyone comments, I'll message them and send them the details. Okay, so you might ask them to post about our cleanse. You might ask them to post about making extra money from home. You may send them a cute photo, you may not. Okay, it's, it's up to you. You can personalize this host to post. It's just a way to get referrals, okay? And you do that in any sort of business. You ask people to get referrals. This is just the way that we do it um, on our team. And it's an amazing way, again, to grow your friends list. So if I asked Sarah to host a post for me, she may say, hey, my friend Alyssa is looking for some girls that um, want to grow their hair out this winter. Do I have any friends that would be interested? She might post a cute picture of hair that I send her. And anyone that comments, I would go send them a friend request, comment back and say, hey, girl, I'll message you. And then I would message them with details. Your sponsor can walk you through this. I just want to give you a basic understanding because we do have a really awesome incentive this month on the team page. It's a $300 target gift card for anyone that hosts a post for you. Okay, so any of your friends that are willing to put up a post on their wall for you, they get entered to win a $300 target gift card. That's it. All they have to do is post on their, their Facebook wall. So if you are brand new, I highly encourage you to start asking people to host a post. Post about the target gift card giveaway and get some host to post up there. Okay, it's gonna be a good way to seal the deal with your first few customers. Um, especially for those of you that have smaller networks that maybe you're like, my friends and family don't support me or you know, I don't have, I don't have a close friend circle, host a post, you should start pretty much immediately to kind of start, grow that, start growing that friends list. Um, okay, Wait, the next thing I'm, do it. Can I just add some yeah. new tips? Okay, you kind of like, almost said it <laughs> um but i was just gonna say for everybody who's newer or even if you haven't really messaged very many people post to post is just a really great way to start talking to people and for the most part it's going to be people you don't know so it's not quite as like scary as you as like talking to somebody that you do know 
I mean, I, I don't think either one is scary, but some people are a little nervous to talk to their friends about something that they're, that's brand new. So that's why I really like Hostel Post is you're talking to strangers. <laughs> and I mean, if they say no, it's like, okay, bye. That's fine. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. That's a, t that's a really good point. Um, and host to post, just like posting on your wall or messaging, it's all kind of a numbers game. Like I've done a lot of host to post today because of the target gift card. And I have a lot of people that got hardly any comments or any likes. Um, some of the people that posted for me got no interaction, but now they're interested in the product that I have them post about. Um, but then I have one that has like 15 comments. So it took me probably 25 post to post to get one that had that many comments but now from a message that took me literally five minutes I have 15 new potential customers for the cleanse so it's it can be hit or miss so just like anything else it's going to take some time you can't just give up on day one of doing host to post or day one of social media you just never know when that that thing's going to click or when the right person is going to post at the right time and get the right people you just don't know so um just to go along with that since Sarah was talking about just like when you're new, sometimes you're scared um, to talk to new people. My main advice is don't try to be something that you're not. Don't try to talk to people in a way that you wouldn't normally talk to them. If you want to talk to your best friend and you would normally pick up the phone and call her, pick up the phone and call her. You don't have to email her or text her or send her some fancy message. Just call her and, and be you. Like seriously, some of my first conversations were like, you're going to think I'm absolutely nuts. And here's the deal. I don't care. I know that you're always talking about wanting to lose weight and we're going to do this together. You need to be one of my first customers so that I can get free product. Like <laughs> I was just straight up honest with like my closest friends. Um, you know, and then with my mom, she was one of my first customers and just being like, here's the deal. I know you're going to think this is weird and you probably don't believe in people making money on social media, but I know you're going to like the products and it would mean the world to me if you just tried a few for a couple months. Okay. So just be you, you don't have to know everything. In fact, being brand new is amazing. Like sometimes I wish I could go back to my first 90 days because I was just totally ignorance on fire. Had no idea what to post, had no idea what I was saying. So it didn't always work in my advantage. There's some things that I would change if I went back to my first 90 days. But when you're new, you don't have to know everything and people don't expect you to know everything. So you can seriously start a conversation with someone and they can ask you a question and you can just respond with, you know what? I'm brand new. Let me ask the person that I signed up with or hey, let me ask my leader. That's fine. They're not going to judge you for that. It's okay not to know the answer. That's how you learn the answer and that's how you get better at the business is just by talking to people. You won't get better just by reading all of the product info on the website. You won't get better just by constantly spending time on the success squad page. You will get better by posting, by talking to people, by asking your sponsor for help, asking your sponsor, okay, what should I be doing? I'm lost or I'm discouraged or I have no idea what I'm doing or what to say. Send your sponsor screenshots. Ask your sponsor for advice before you throw a post up if you want her to like edit it or whatever. Um, it's, it's just the way that you learn. So be excited about being new. Okay. People will buy your excitement more. They will more than they will buy your information. Okay. Trust me because I sent out a lot of information in the beginning. It didn't work for me. So, um, okay. Three more things quickly I'm trying to make good time. The first thing is the loyal customer program. I want to make sure everyone understands this. There may be some changes to it in the next few months, but for right now, our customer program we have no fee as long as people agree to try one product a month for three consecutive months. That's it. Any price, any product, whatever they want. If they can change the date, they can change the product. One product a month for three months. So if you talk to someone tonight, they're interested in the product. December would be their first order. January would be their second. February would be their third. After their February order, they don't have to continue to order if they don't want to. There are additional perks if they choose to continue ordering, but after three months, they are guaranteed wholesale pricing for life no matter what. Y'all, that's legit. That's like shopping at Costco three, three times and then Costco saying, now you have a Costco membership for life, but you don't 
you have to keep buying a membership every single year, okay? So our company is legit. Not only that, but they get access to all the sales that we ever have. They get access to any new products that we come out with. Like our customer program is incredible and you need to get really excited about the fact that we get to offer that. I don't really have people buy products in any other way. Occasionally coffee samples, but I don't usually have people buy retail. They do have an option to pay a membership fee if they do not want to commit to three months, but y'all, I don't even talk about it. I just say the membership fee is waived. It's a $50 membership fee. It's waived with the agreement to try one product a month for three months because why would most people spend $50 when you could spend 25 and get our fat fighters for two months and spend the same amount? So anyways, one product a month for three months, they get discounted pricing starting with their very first order. So it's either for, it's 40 to 70% off depending on what they order if they get a pack one product a month for three months, one product a month for three months. Okay. Got it. Keep it simple. That's easy. You don't have to talk about all the other things that I said, one product a month for three months, any product, any price after three months, you get wholesale pricing for life. Okay. Just want to drill that in because that is going to be something that you literally have on repeat when you're talking to people. Um, okay. Along with that, why our loyal customer program is so great. Part two, it creates residual income. And most of you guys have, if you've never done a business like this, you've never experienced residual income. And it might take you a little while to wrap your brain around it because the way we are paid is different than a normal job. Okay, a normal job, you know exactly what your salary is. You're gonna show up, you have to show up every day to get that salary. You have a certain job requirement to get that salary. But if you decide to quit, if you decide to take a month off, if life is just really hard and you just physically cannot go to that job or you are a commission-based job and you just cannot get there, they're not going to pay you like zero dollars. You may have some vacation days. Once those run out, you get no money. Residual income's different. We get paid on things that we've done months and even years prior so what I mean by that is when I told you about the customer program, one product a month for three months, so you could do something tonight, get paid on it next month, get paid on it the next month, get paid on it the next month. So at least three months, you're getting paid on that person's order. And then if they continue to order or any time they order from here until 2052, you will get paid on their orders, which is crazy. So I started in September of 2011. I have people, no joke, that have ordered every single month since September of 2011. That means I've been on, paid on their orders for over 80 months in a row, okay? I have other customers that order every six months or so. But even still, because I did that work back in 2011, 12, 13, I'm still getting paid on their orders now. You guys need to fall in love with that idea because not to get too deep, but Tyler and I, my husband, we've been through a lot in the last year, and even on months where I could barely get out of bed that I mentally just could not put into my business what I normally would have, number one, I'd already worked so hard for so many years that I was, I was working from home, so I didn't have to get dressed and leave my bed, but number two, even on those months that I just could not do the work that I normally did, I still got a paycheck on the 15th because I had worked and worked and worked for months in a row and I continue to show up for my business. So again, some of you may not be signing up for this kind of income, but even if it's $500 a month and something happens at your normal job or you need to go on leave for some reason or you need to go sit by someone in their hospital bed, like you can still get paid, which is just like absolutely unbelievable. So it may take you time, it may take consistency, it you're probably not gonna match your full-time salary in one, two, three months. It may take you a couple of years, but y'all, it's so worth fighting for because there is no other type of job that will pay you this type of residual income. There are other jobs that are commission-based, but it's not residual, okay? So the other way I want you to think about it is this. When you start this business, you are building a snowball. It's just you all alone <laughs> pushing this little snowball trying to gather customers, trying to figure this whole thing out, trying to get your first few distributors, and the snowball is not growing very fast, and yours may be going at a different rate than someone else's, 
But then you find a few people that also want to make a little extra money from home and they start helping you push the snowball. You help them start making money. The snowball gets bigger. Okay. And by sticking with this business and that consistency and continuing to be excited and sharing this opportunity, the snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually the snowball keeps going. Even if you take your hand off, even if you have to step away for a little while, that snowball will have momentum and it will, it can keep growing in and it'll still be there. And so that's what residual income is. That's how network marketing is. You help other people and eventually it turns back and can help you more than you ever could have possibly dreamed. So um, yes, Crystal said you could do it in a couple of months if you work as far as uh, matching your, your corporate income. And yes, I don't want to take away from the fact that like you can absolutely build this business so flipping fast. I, I mean, I went triple diamond, which means nothing to a lot of you. I did that in seven months. I replaced my full-time income in seven months. Is that everyone's story? No, it's not. And there's some people that make more money than me that it took longer for them to, um, to hit that rank. So everyone is on a totally different journey. Everyone has a different snowball if you want to look at it that way. Um, but the, the end game is the same. You can still get to the same goal, even if your path looks different than someone else's. So that would take me into another really deep tangent, and I'm not going to talk about it, but comparison is not your friend in this business. You can be inspired by people, but don't be defeated by them. We're all on our own journeys. We all have different reasons for working as hard as we work or not working as hard as we work. So try not to compare yourself because you never know what's pushing someone else to move so fast or to, to move so hard. Like Crystal is a great example. I feel like if I had nine kids, I would just want to move a lot faster. <laughs> like, okay, I'm either in or I'm out. There's just no, I'm just not going to like walk through this. I'm going to sprint. So everyone has their reason. So if you want to be moving as fast as someone like Crystal, then maybe you should have eight or nine more children and then you would know. Okay. And most of you are probably like, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. So there you go. You can't be mad <laughs> at her or compare yourself to her because she has a totally different story. Just like you shouldn't compare yourself to me or Sarah, any of the other girls on the team. We all have had our own journeys. None, none of them have looked alike. We have all hit places in our business where we thought we're never going to make it. We're never going to get there. We're never going to be like her. We're never going to be like that. Okay. We all go through those same things. So, um, Okay, two last points I'll leave you with. I wanted to keep it around 30 minutes. Um, this is seriously the best time of year, you guys. You're already in the business. You've joined before the new year, which is amazing. Okay, we have a ton of new distributors from October, November, and new distributors in December. That's huge because you guys are getting to try the products, get familiar with the business, get familiar with things like host to post, how to word things, all of that. You're getting to create a foundation for your business before the craziest time of the year, okay? Just trust me, if you will be consistent, if you will find a way to do something daily for your business through December, about midway through January or even earlier, I know the company has some things planned earlier, so just plan on just things being madness from here on out in a good way. Um, but if you will just be consistent this month, you will watch your business explode. You will watch people start contacting you in the spring months that have never even liked a post that you've ever made. Like people flip a switch on January 1st. They are ready for something new and you want to be the person that they are contacting when they, you know, on January 10th, they had a new year's resolution to go to the gym and they haven't been once. <laughs> you want to be the person that they're contacting. You want to be the go-to person for someone that's like, okay, this year, like I've got to pay off debt. You want to be the person they think of. And the only way you're going to be the person they think of is if you're consistent through December, you're posting in December, you're messaging in December, okay? I know that people are busy, but if you can find a way to build your business daily this month, you will not regret it. So do what you can, plan out your calendar. I did a live video on the team page the other day and I talked about this. If you're going to schedule holiday parties and all these other things on your calendar, schedule some time to work this business, to put a little time and effort in because it will pay off. Um, and it's way better than looking up on January 1st thinking, huh, maybe I should 
maybe I should start that business that I joined a couple months ago. Like just start now, start doing things, start posting, um, and start using the products. I cannot stress this enough. I know it's Christmas season. I know you're spending money on gifts, but you're also asking other people to try the products for 90 days. Try the products for 90 days. Find a product today that you were like, I'm going to commit to that. Or, you know, if you're really serious about certain goals, find two, three, four, like highly recommend like the fit packs or doing coffee and chocolate greens, something that you can sample, something that you can post about all the time. Get your shopping spree. That's the easiest way to get your product. And then be using the products. Don't ask people to try products that you're not using yourself. It is much easier and much more genuine to talk about them when you're using them. And this is coming from someone that hadn't tried anything when I joined. You know, it took me a while to have a testimony, but start as soon as you can. Even if it's buying one product, pick it out tonight and commit to it. Tell your sponsor what product you're gonna be using because y'all, it really does make a big difference. And my whole thing when I started, I didn't have a whole lot of extra money, but I started, half of the reason I started is because I wanted to try the products and I wanted to lose weight. So I wasn't going to join and then not try the products because if I wasn't a distributor, I would be buying them from a distributor and I would be spending money on them either way. So for me, it, I never thought of it as a business expense. It was a product that I was ordering from my own website instead of going to CVS or GNC and buying something similar, but not as great. So don't think of it as a business expense. Think of it as an investment into yourself. That's also going to help you make money. So win-win. Um, okay, I think that's it. Do something daily. This seriously, y'all, I can't stress it enough. This is the best time of year. You're already here. Just jump in and just try. You will always wonder if you don't give it some solid months of just work. And I promise if you stay plugged in and you get excited and you get confident in the company, you'll absolutely love it. Like we're kind of a good time and we do like to hang out and you know, you'll see a lot of us that are friends. Most of us didn't know each other when we joined this business. So don't feel like you're like the oddball out that you don't know anyone on the team. We know each other because we show up to zooms and we, we get together and we go to conferences and we show up to events, but most of us found each other via social media. So you guys now have the same opportunity to build relationships with people and to stay plugged in and to make lots of fun money while you're at it. So, um, I know we didn't go through a lot of like specific things to build your business, but I more so tonight just wanted you guys to see and hear that you're in the right company at the right place at the right time. And things are about to get crazy. And I don't say that lightly because this is my eighth December in this company but there are just seasons of my business and I've watched, you know, the ebbs and flows of business that every business has. And we're about to be on such a crazy run. And so the fact that you're here and you're already in and already learning just makes me so excited because I know how quickly this business can transform your life physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, obviously, like I'm just super pumped. So that's all I'm going to leave you with tonight. Does anyone have Sarah, did you have anything to add or anyone else on here? You good? No, nothing that would take less than two seconds. <laughs> I know. It's hard because there's so many things that we can talk to me if you have questions. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys.